A reading from the devotional, Walking in Grace. Gratitude is like a muscle. A testimony by Shirley Ray Redmond. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Colossians 4, 2. Recently, I had an email from a former student. She'd sold her first short story to a children's magazine and wanted to thank me for the help I'd given her when she'd taken my writing course years ago. I was delighted for Jillian. More than that, I was touched that she'd reached out to say thank you. Very few students do. I suppose it shouldn't surprise me. When Jesus healed ten lepers on his way to Jerusalem, only one of them returned to thank him. One in ten. That's sad, isn't it? But thanklessness seems prevalent. Perhaps that's why magazines publish articles, usually in November, on the importance of having an attitude of gratitude. I've taken meals and disposable diapers to new mothers, delivered homemade cookies or flowers to shut-ins, and performed other acts of kindness without ever getting an email, text, or phone call to say thanks. I didn't do these things to be thanked. I did them because the Lord would have me do so, to be salt and light in the world. Why are we prone to take so much for granted? When my teenagers succumbed to grumbling or whining, I'd counter by asking them to share three things they were grateful for that day. Perhaps the attitude of gratitude is like a muscle that needs to exercise to grow strong. I don't know. What I do know is that life is too short not to take time to thank the Lord for our blessings and to say thank you to those around us. Dear Lord, I thank you for showering me with so many blessings that I can't count them all. Amen. For making the sun to shine, putting the stars in the sky, for the flowers that bloom, the ocean so blue. Thank you, Lord, for the sparrow that sings. It makes sweet melody for the rivers that flow. Rain and the snow, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to Thank you, Lord, for making me whole, saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for my home and family, for life's joys that you've given me, for shoes on my feet, plenty to eat. Thank you, Lord, for the church where I worship and pray, for the freedoms that I have today. Sweet Spirit, I feel your presence so real. Thank you, Lord, for being a friend so dear, giving myself. I could not stand. Thank you, Lord, Lord, for giving your life for me on the cross of Calvary, for taking.
taking my place. Mercy and grace, thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for everything you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. Saving my soul, thank you, Lord. Thank you.